Sonoma County, California, Forestville to be exact, on December 16, 1978. Carrie Graham, 15, and Francine Trimble, 14, vanished. Their bodies were located on July 8, 1979 in Willits, California. Seventy nine and a half miles down Route 101 North. I did my homework. <laughs> um, too bad I can't read my own handwriting. Anyway, uh, Carrie left her antibiotics from a recent appendectomy at home. Um, they were erroneously described as a boy and a girl when their bodies were found, which hindered their IDs. They were found bound with duct tape. The pathologist decided they had to be a boy and a girl. In 2014, an odontologist said they were not related, and mitochondrial DNA showed they were in fact both female. Carrie's sister asked for her DNA to be compared to the girl's as she was sure one was her sister. She was correct. <coughs> Another issue in this case was that the girls vanished together. Their report dates were, however, different. Mendocino County investigators are still investigating the murders of these two innocent children. There have been false confessions, including in 2000, from an inmate in New Jersey. Possible suspects include Rodney Alcala and Gerald and Charlene Gallego. Or connection to the Santa Rosa Hitchhiker murders, 1972 to 1976. Um, I remember those bodies. I remember the earring, which was one of the things that sort of helped figure out who one of them was. Um, and for a long time they were marked as a boy and a girl. I think that time that went by hindered solving the murders. It's just my opinion. Um, it's, it's sad. Today, we should be able to quickly tell by DNA whether someone's male or female. Now, <coughs> they knew there were two little girls missing from the area. So I don't know why they didn't grab dental records or do something to see if they were the two little girls way back then. I'm not saying it would have been solved, but it would have been a heck of a lot easier because there would have been more physical evidence to work with. But if you have any information in this case, you can call the Sonoma County Sheriff's at 1-707-996-3602. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, please join me next time when I talk about the case of Jessica Gutierrez. Um, oh, when I do our update show. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> Thank you so much. And please remember to subscribe and click that bell. Hashtag 500 by June. Thank you so much. <laughs>